Hey guys, in this tutorial, I'm gonna be showing you how to cut out any image in Photoshop with one simple step. What you wanna do is you wanna get an image. So it can be any image. Try and get something with a simple background. If you go on um, Unsplash, there's heaps of different types of photos. You can look at um, you know, portraits or, or models. And um, I just searched up like a male model um, to look for someone with a, uh, you don't want a crazy background. You want something that's kind of like plain. So you can see I got this image from here. And yeah, obviously you don't want to make it too complex. You could probably cut that guy as well. But what we're going to do, we're going to go back into Photoshop. And so let me just get this. So what you'll do, you just drag the photo from your whatever folder. You just drag it into Photoshop and you should get um, this layer. So you should get one layer like this in Photoshop. And what you want to do, all you have to do is go to the top left corner, click on select, go down to subject. Now what this will do is Photoshop will find the subject matter. So it will find the person. So you can see here, it automatically created a selection on this guy, right? So it cut out all the background and just selected him. If I zoom in with my mouse wheel and holding alt, you can see there's some areas of the sky still selected. So what I can do is I can go to the left hand side, click the lasso tool, and I'm going to hold Alt or Option and just click and drag with my mouse to cut out this part. So you can see when you hold Option or Alt, it pretty much minuses the selection. So it minuses these other pixels here. And now if I zoom in here, you can see some of the umbrella is um, not selected. Yet. So I'm going to hold Shift. Then once again, drag, try and keep it within that selection like this. So you can see those pixels are selected. And now we're good to go. There's some um, sky here. So once again, keep the lasso tool, hold option to minus. And if you want to plus a selection, you hold shift. So it doesn't have to be fully accurate, but just try and keep the pixels there cut out. So once we've done this, all we have to do is press, um, go to select and you can see the shortcut is alt control R. This is going to select our object and mask it. Once you press out, it masks the whole background and makes uh, a mask and just leaves the um, subject that you selected. So what I can do is I can go to the side settings here on my side in the properties. And the first thing I want to do is I want to click decontaminate colors. So if I zoom in here, right, you can see when I tick off decontaminate colors, you can see it sort of gets rid of the outline there. Because sometimes you might get like a glow or like a gray color or a weird color that shouldn't be there. Um, you just want to get rid of that. The global refinements, you can leave smooth feather and contrast. You can leave it on zero. It doesn't really make a crazy difference. Uh, and radius, you can just leave for zero for now and press OK. So what it's done is it's made a new layer and masked the subject using a um, vector mask layer there, as you can see. So now I pretty much have my selection here. I can make him bigger by pressing Control T to you know increase the size like this. And if I want to rasterize the layer, I can just right click and I can convert to smart object. This helps me retain, it pretty much gets rid of the mask and also helps retain the information. So if I want to scale him, he won't lose too much detail. But obviously if it's a high resolution image from the start, then um, it will be fine. So I have my character here. Then what I can do is I can you know add a solid color background to whatever I want Go for the orange drag the layer below this layer and I can add some text Just put fly press control T to transform scale up I'll drag this layer below the the boy or the guy and there we have it we can also change the color of him if we want so I can double click on his layer here I can go color overlay and I can change his color to blue or whatever. And you can see I can, if I play around with the blending modes, you can see, you can play around and see what happens. Color dodge looks pretty cool. And you can see you can create this cool effect. And I can also add a drop shadow like that. And there you have it. That's how you cut out any image and chuck him on her background. Hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Let me know in the comments below if you like Photoshop tutorials because I do love Illustrator, but I know a thing or two about Photoshop. And hit that 
subscribe button for more content every week.